Right then, are we live? Guys, welcome to Writer Showcase number 15. This is your host, Chenny. I'm sorry I'm going to be rushing through this um, today because I really have no time. And I'm actually doing a second take for reasons that I will not disclose. So let's do this right from the beginning. Um, this is my journal page, Made a Master Mess Around. It's our funny new show, thanks to Amatsu Noir, who has been helping me with this show. Um, I'm going to try and stay off the accents a bit because my throat is really hurting right now. Okay, so this is the, the first uh, piece that we've got today is Flames of History by Sith Wolf. They're mail from the United States, so please come check it out. This is their page. Link will be in the description. Are you ready? You're a bit late to the rodeo, and all the fans and all the funds burned away. Into the gale blowing ashes across the scraps of the chart, hope remains but a whispered flicker that I can snuff out, simply closing this case of right and wrong as hopeful song echoes, blistering like the flames of hatred that were fueled by history. Small typo there in uh, flames of hatred, but um, other than that, lovely piece. Thank you very much for submitting into the group. That was Flames of History by Sith Wolf. And now we're moving on to our next poet of the day. This is Where the Poems Grow by Mina Miko. They're female from Canada, so it is her page. Please do come check it out. They've got quite a lot of stuff that you can see. And I'm just going to get right into it. Through the glistening river reeds, in between the little waves, Diamonds of sunlight sparkle, gentle winds embrace me. With scents of juniper and pine, beneath the whispering giants, the summer sings with tiny beings, mournful loons and chickadees, and a dragonfly rests on my sleeve. Every breath is sweet here, my paddle takes me here. Where I can really breathe, this is where the poems grow. So that was Where the Poems Grow by Minamiko. Thank you for submitting it in. Hope you enjoyed that. Please do check them out. Okay, next is Tea Leaf Augury by Glitch Lord. His name is Charles, male from the United States, so it is his page. He's been a deviant for 10 years, and he's got 1,585 deviations. That's a lot of material, so please do come check him out. <coughs> and I see Deary Deer there. Um, so I recognize that person. Okay, are you ready? Pressed your testaments quick through my veins, and asked afterward which dangers were more than phantoms. Colorful tea smoke rising, the scent paints my lungs, new shades of jealous. Tell us again how these fictions terminate, how the scriptures we etch on our eyelids inside us. Deep held inside us are brittle tomes, titled with names and with places that made us wonder. So that was Tea Leaf Augury by the Glitch Lord. Fantastic piece, fantastic flow. You can tell he's experienced, so do check him out. Never heard snow more people. Okay, next we have Hello There Alice by Kit Kat Rian. <coughs> this is Rian the Rose, 22, there are 22 other from the United States, so it is their page. Please do come check it out. They've been a deviant for three years, and this is Hello There Alice. And I see Vicky Pepper down there, so uh, good to see the members of the group getting involved. And yeah, you'll have to forgive the throw. I'm sorry this is the second take. So, yeah, something went terribly wrong in the first take, so it's all right, though. We, I will get through this, and I will do this to the best of my ability, so please forgive me. I will gladly make it up to you guys next time around. We will make sure this error doesn't happen again. Uh. Hello there, Alice. What is it you wish? To go see the great ocean, or a pond with small fish? Would you like a small house, a mansion, or more? Would you like a best friend, or many friends to adore? Would you settle for a pony instead of a great war horse? Would you rather an adventure, or a, or, or a more well-known course? Alice, are you the type to run or to fight? If the going got tough, would you just flee and hide? Just tell me, dear Alice, and I'll leave you alone. If I gave you a wonderland, would you ever want to go home? So that was a lovely piece based on Alice in Wonderland. Please do check out um, their poem and their page. That was Hello There Alice by Kit Kat Green. Now moving on. We have Empty Melody by Court Beth. Are you ready? It all started at the age of five. While she stared at the dusty keys with her eyes, she walked to the stool with curiosity coursing through her veins. Her fingers tapped the key, starting the road that had yet been paved. Oh, how she regretted that day, how the piano took her life away. The life of a pianist is a dangerous path, especially if you're unprepared and not packed. Tragedies happened over the years, making her depressed, lonely, and full of fear. But alas, her fingers pressed down on a flat D as she played her empty melody. Fantastic piece with fantastic flow. With fantastic flow. I can't believe I said flow. Okay, so this is Court Beth. Courtney, female from the United States. Please do come and check her out. 
anime. <laughs> I love anime. Okay, so yeah, um, they've been a deviant here for one year. For one year, they could probably use a lot more watchers. Come and see what they have to say. They probably have some great pieces that you would not have seen before. Okay, so that was Empty Melody by Court Beth. We're moving on. This is a killer called the Persuader. Time, taking away, straining the strings, ripping the fabrics. I'll just stand here and let it pass me by. I'm invisible to every single human eye. The little children run through me, the adults shiver, the dogs bark, the cats hiss, and the birds fly. Time, the murderer who goes on unpunished. It took my pulse, my will, my life. But truly it was time who persuaded me, and I who pulled the trigger. Now I'm stuck for all time, not evil enough, not good enough, just a wanderer. For the killer's entertainment. So that was a killer called the Persuader by the Geeky Nerd of Avalon. Love that name. Excuse me, that is Kenny Other from the United States, so it is their page. They probably have a lot of stuff here. They've been a demon for five months and apparently they watch me. So here's to you, Kenny. Thanks. And now we are moving on. Don't forget to check out their page. Here is Reinvent, My Eternal Escape, by My Eternal Escape. I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, <coughs> they are Batman, um, female from the United States. In my first take, I tried to do a Batman accent, but uh, I'm not going to try and attempt this now because throat's way gone. Okay, you ready? Take a hard look and see possibility. I don't like where I am. I want to change what I see. So I'll take the first step toward reinventing me. I changed a few of the words there because it just um, sounded a lot better. I actually did this during the first take in the original form, and then I realized, I guess this is the benefit of rehearsal, although I don't really have time to do it. It just, um, the flow was just so good already that I just wanted to embellish it a bit to just give it that same feeling that I got when I read it. So that was Reinvent by My Eternal Escape. Fantastic piece. Go check their page out. And now we're moving on. Second last poet. This is Hungry, TGE Middle. She's female from Canada, so it is her page. She watches me. Her name is Miomi Hollow. Do check her out. And this is a quite a disturbing piece, so if you are squeamish or you do not like dark things, I suggest skipping to the last poem of the day. Are you ready? Have you ever considered the texture of chewy flesh between your teeth? I do not mean a veil, but perhaps some human meat. I've heard it is addicting, the alluring mixture of fat and muscle, in which they say is best served with rice, though I wonder what spices I used to season him right. Would he need any at all? I bet he had a name. Do you think you might remember it if you consumed this meat again? Would you even care that you just devoured your own boss? Perhaps you're only thinking... He could have used more sauce. I can't be too sure. Rumours I've heard is all. But once I know what human tastes like, I'll be sure to give you a call. And that was Hungry by TGE Middle. Dark stuff. Okay, and now we're moving on. Last poet of the day is Jess. Kialila. Kialila? Jess, 21 female from Australia, so this is her page. Please do come check it out. Oops, sorry. And here's her poem. Hi, my name is Jess. It's a pretty raw and emotional piece, so... Because I already read it once. Okay, ready? Hi, my name is Jess. I suffer from depression and anxiety, so please don't think of me any less. I'm already judged by society. I don't really fit in anywhere, but that's okay. I guess I don't really care. I'll just sleep my life away. Most of my days are spent in constant worry, but at the same time I'm usually too sad to care. Oh no, don't be sorry. Very few are aware. I smile so I don't bother others. Hurting them is my biggest fear. I just hide under the covers. Only there can I shed a tear. I worry about the uncertainty of the days ahead. Thoughts constantly churning through my mind. I dwell on words that have already been said, on the closure that I can't seem to find. All in all, I just live in a world of sadness and terror, waiting for the day when I may thrive and live without the fear of error. So that was Hi, My Name is Jess by Jess. Emotional, raw piece, straight from the heart. Do check her out. 
She's got some good stuff up there. And I'm sorry that that was a bit rushed. <coughs> yeah, sorry, my throat and lungs are really dying right now. But it was entirely my fault, and I accept the full blame for that. So, if any of you feel that I haven't done your pieces justice, let me know. Just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to read something else to make it up to you. So, that was all for our Writer Showcase number 15. Thank you so much for um, watching this show. And I will see you all soon. Oh, and you will notice that we're probably doing more pieces per show. And the reason is we have more members. So we're trying to get everything done as fast as possible. And my throat has improved. But yeah, today there was an error. So doing a second take really killed me. But 10 is, uh, sorry, 9 pieces is pretty much okay for me. So I'll just take a rest tomorrow and get back to it. So thank you guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, almost forgot. If you do not come from DeviantArt, even if you do come from DeviantArt, please like, subscribe, and comment, because that is how we grow, that is how we get our voices out. So, and if you were read today, don't forget to share the reading video, and maybe just one other video, or just share the channel. That's all we really ask in return for reading your poetry, because when you help us get known, we can help you get more known as well, because every piece you read is going to be on that channel, and it's going to be advertised everywhere. So thank you guys, I will see you all soon.